political party out of the Occupy movement? Absolutely. We could form a PAC. We absolutely could legally have one. I'm fundamentally opposed to it for many strategic reasons. One, it's directly in opposition to our highest and most dearly held value, which is direct democratic participation. The second, you start electing representatives, you have just given up on your core value. So I would, I'm would, i absolutely fundamentally opposed to a party coming out of the Occupy movement. But having said that, I'm, at, I'm in complete agreement that we do need to have a political working group. I think that if we establish that today, and I may be mistaken if that's what you're proposing, but if, if, if it is, I would support it if um, it worked closely with direct action and strategic planning. I think it couldn't, it's the kind of thing that could go out on its own if it wasn't working closely. Direct action and strategic planning work very closely together It's because we have a common bond and I think this would be kind of like a triumphant, you know, I think that, that would be a very important part. Um, I think there's a lot of things to work on in terms of uh, political um, awareness, values, and actions in terms of who we have to support our politicians. I mean, I think we could, we could literally work on that as we go, but in terms of turning it into a party, it really does fundamentally change the structure of this organization and what we're doing. Our grassroots support for the leaderless movement, and I support us staying that way. That's our core values. Jim, Mindy, Eric, and now Sam. Alex, Jim, Mindy? Eric, Sam. Basically, I have a brief. Speak in the microphone. Basically, I don't have much to say, but I think uh, this is a uh, proposition is too big and uh, lacks specific and it's difficult to make decisions. I suggest that uh, by the next year that there are notes with pointers what, what exactly you're proposing, how you and uh, this this can be distributed to most people so that they can read and uh, think about it. And uh, my understanding is people want to run it by the laws too. So whatever whatever you are proposing, they want to, to 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 get input from a legal team. And uh, then 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 we will have better basis for decision making the next time. Thank you. Jim, Mindy, Eric, Sam. Thank you. I'm Jim, and my ideas on this are, uh, for a long time, I've always wished for another party, and the party would really be based on values and value. So actually, basically, it would be the values of the people who care and care about other people and want things to be really right because they're right. And also, when you spend a dollar, it was a value of a dollar for a dollar, because I could give anybody a $100 bill, and no one would care if they gave me their $100 bill if you still had $100 when you were done. So it's never bad to pay for something if it's worth it, but if it's not worth it, then you feel ripped off. So the value is the key. And on the other side of the whole thing is I think that any time we would put something that would allow the 1% the greedy corporate people and lead it and the 1% which are part of that little elephant tribe, they would trample us and destroy us if they got in there. And so as much as we might not like the whole party system thing is if one party got in we get damaged a lot more than another so I always think that if you can take out the worst of the bunch we'll take the next one on and we'll try to make change and make it better and if we can make it better you know okay if not we work on them hard but I'm not for taking votes away from the person that might be the one that's saving your ass you know I'll try to keep the comments to the specific proposal um, the so timekeeper Bottom line was uh, against. Um, do we do we want to keep the, the there's a stack? Uh, I think it's fair to honor the people that are on stack. And then when we get to that point, we have to hear back from. Uh, we have to continue this discussion. Uh, is, does anybody, well, let's just. Continue. We could table it too. This, uh, this could go on for a long time, but we could you know, honor the stack too. Let, let's honor the stack, and then at that moment, we'll, we'll kind of see where we are in terms of continuing. Thank you. Minty, Eric, and Sam. Hey, okay. So, I'm opposed, and I'll tell you why. I've been doing outreach in the community, and we've spoken with a number of groups that are only able to work with us 
because we are bipartisan, uh, nonpartisan. we were to, you know, uh, consecrate some sort of party out of this, uh, we would really be, I believe, um, barring ourselves, we'd be uh, holding ourselves back from uh, certain types of people, people that, you know, may not want to be affiliated with a party, so to speak. Um, I think that the idea of, of people rising up and becoming leaders that uh, sympathize with our group, that's not, that's not a bad idea, but to actually label it, it's, I, I know that, okay, why become part of the system that we're trying to reform? That's all I have to say. I mean, I, I, everyone likes, I, I think it's ever, everyone is in agreement that, um, you know, we want to have some sort of idea of what, you know, people who represent us, you know, what, what their policies would be. I, I think, I think the word party rubs people off long, uh, in, in the wrong way because it symbolizes, you know, free power. You know, free <laughs> sort of an excuse to consolidate and you know, sort of get lazy with constituents because you're an established party. And 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 yes, Occupy obviously is not the type of would not be the type of party to let a candidate slack. But th th there there is a general just. It's, I, I feel like it's rubbing people the wrong way. I, I mean, I I don't know. I, I don't think that you know this should just be overlooked because you know there has been a lot of discussion about you know. What exactly do our candidates stand for? What do we want our candidates to stand for? I mean, this, this is, I mean, people mentioned strategic planning. I mean, sort of the medium, long-term, like medium-term goals at least is, you know, what are the policies that we want our representatives to have? I mean, a lot of focus has been on specific ones that are of importance, but there's no reason that, you know, other things should be given weight and we shouldn't push, strive for a general political philosophy. So, I mean, maybe working on a political party isn't a best idea. It isn't the, the, something that's going to pass right now. But maybe you know, a working group to discuss political philosophy. I mean, I'm just like I, I feel like this shouldn't just be tabled because you know people are unsteady about you know what it sounds like or how it feels like because you know we all agree that it's important and that. You know, we want legislative change, and you know, we should really discuss what we want. You know, our democracy to lead to. So, the, the, that, that, that's that's my opinion, and you know, I, I don't think that you know because it's wording, we should just say whatever. So. I'm against this. I'll tell you why. First of all, as Mindy stated, we have gone and spoken with different community groups that can only participate with Occupy Buffalo and lend their support to Occupy Buffalo because we are a nonpartisan group. How are we going to unite in a bipartisan world? How are we going to unite when partisanship is one of the ways that they use to divide us? Secondly, I feel right now this is an, ex an attempt by citizen action to 